In the depths of the recession, what I saw was people were hanging on so tightly to what they had. I don't have enough, I don't have enough. That was the energy. How can you make good financial decisions if you're freaked out about money? Yet no one talks about this side of things, the worry, the beliefs people have, what their upbringing was around money. where most of the energy is on the analytical side, that you have to be good at running all the numbers to be successful. And that is just not true. I had to shift my viewpoint on what success was and what it was gonna take for me to be successful. I moved from focusing solely on the numbers part of my goal setting to shifting to looking at how I can truly be of service to people. And when I did that, my business skyrocketed. The business building strategy I have always used is to give what you most want to get. So if you want more love in your life, give more love. If you want more respect, give more respect. And if you want more business, give more business. When you can have a conversation that's way more holistic and encompassing, looking at what you want your money to do for you, it becomes so much more engaging, so much more fun. Budgeting is like eating celery at a pizza party, right? It's no fun. Now that doesn't mean I don't think it's important to know where your money's going. What I recommend instead is a values-based spending plan. What if business came to you without you having to claw for it all the time? And that's what happens when generosity is the underlying part of your marketing plan, of your business strategy. Results will come to you in a so much easier way than ever expected. That's really why my business grew that year. People got, I was there, I really want you to win. I know if they win, I win. My promise to you is that I will give you information that you can walk out of here today using you'll actually practice while we're together today, and I will give you my absolute best. If more people were out there doing kind acts and inspiring other people to do that, this would spread all around the world. Our industry is awesome at making people feel scared and afraid. To me, that's not motivating, I have to tell you. What's motivating is seeing what's possible.